Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's Vince. When I was a freshman in college, I struggled to take notes down. I would write my notes down by hand, normal pen and pad. But the problem was I couldn't write fast enough for whatever the prof was saying. So I started typing my notes down. Next problem, your boy wasn't fast enough. <laughs> and this led me down the rabbit hole of wanting to get from 50 words per minute to 100 words per minute. And I believe that you can do the same thing. So here are a few things that I did that helped me out. So in the beginning, when you're learning how to type fast, you actually want to go slow. And the reason being is that you want to build the right habits for what you're doing. In the beginning, you think it's all about speed just to get fast and practice getting fast. You actually want to practice getting things right. So don't just type as quickly as you can and then make a bunch of mistakes. That's really going to mess up a good foundation of learning how to type really fast. One goal that I would suggest in the beginning is to actually type as many characters as you can without making any mistakes. In the beginning, you don't want to make any mistakes. Just try and get things right no matter how slow you are. Just practice getting it right. That's the main thing you want to do. Build a good foundation of doing things right. Typing each key and knowing where they are. And this leads into the next point of learning how to type without looking. Keep on trying to refrain from looking at the keyboard because this allows you to look at the screen and know exactly what you're typing instead of looking down at the keyboard. One practice that I would do was I would close my eyes and actually type whatever came to my head. So I would just say a sentence or a line from a book or a movie and then open my eyes and see if I made any mistakes. Some available resources that I like to use is 10 Fast Fingers and Monkey Type. I really like Monkey Type because you can customize a lot of things. You can customize the text, you can customize the background, the theme, even the sounds that you're typing. The next word disappears, so it just forces you to read ahead and try to remember what you're typing. Oh man, I messed up. 124, that's pretty good for me. Once you are good enough at not looking at the keyboard, the next thing that I recommend that you practice, try and do the more difficult tests, the ones with grammar or numbers, and try to get good at that. Because once you get good at those ones, the easier tests will be like nothing. That's too easy. Stay consistent. Practice as much as you can. Whenever you have free time and you're on the computer, just pop up on another screen or on your screen, whatever, and just put up 10 fast fingers or monkey type and just start typing away. Practice without looking and just try to do this every day. For some people, you'll progress really fast or slow. For me, it took a while. It actually took me, honestly, if it took me a while building up my progression, I would be super happy. I would screenshot every personal best that I got. Uh, I remember I would screenshot like 60 to 70. And then when I finally made it to 100, I couldn't believe it. <laughs> but practice, practice, practice. Practice as much as you can. We are talking about practice. It's a marathon, it's not a sprint. You're not gonna get in a day and don't be mad at yourself if you can't get it. There are some days when you are gonna be frustrated and you can't type as fast as you usually can. Just take a break, let your hands rest and just get back into it later or another day. Try different keyboards. There are a bunch of different keyboards that all feel different. There are like thousands and thousands. There are a bunch of different switches. Personally, I use the Apple style keyboards and the Logitech MX Master keyboards. I've had, I've always had those. I've never changed them and I just got used to it. And that's just what works for me. My last tip, and it's a little quick tip that you could try. It's a quick change, but when you're typing, try and focus on how high you're lifting your fingers. And one change that you could do is actually try to lift your fingers as low as possible. Like try to shorten the distance from one key to the next key that you're moving to. Because I noticed back then that I would actually lift my, key, my fingers really high and onto the next key. But if you actually just lift your finger as little as you possibly can without touching any of the other ones, put your finger on the next one. When you shorten the distance, you shorten the amount of time that your fingers are traveling and this will give you extra speed so less distance equals less time thank you guys for watching i really hope this helps you and you guys can increase your speed and type like <laughs> press that like button press that subscribe button and i'll see you guys in the next one